Creating a fake airbrush design in Photoshop is easier than you might think. With just a few clicks, you can transform your text into a convincing airbrush look. In this video, I will show you how to use Photoshop's powerful text effects to create a stunning airbrushed effect in no time. I'll also explain to you some tips and tricks on how to get the best effect possible. Before we get started though, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Create a new document. I will be using inches. Change the width to 10 and the height to 13. Make sure your resolution is 300 and CMYK. Now grab your type tool, and here I will be starting with the letter F. I will be using the font NMF Burner, and the link is also in the description. Change the font size to 173. And the color I will be using is CF, CF, CF. Now I will apply a bevel and emboss. Change the style to inner bevel, smooth. 240% should be the depth. Direction up, size should be 57. Soften should be 16. Make sure use global light is unchecked. Change the first number to 62 degrees and the second one to 53 degrees. Change it to this one in the first row. Change this opacity to 75% and then change the shadow mode opacity to 0%. Now add a contour. Change it to the third one in the first row. Now we will apply a stroke. Change the size to 14. Position should be outside. Opacity should be 100% and change the color to 181819. Now let's apply an inner shadow. Change the blend mode to normal. And the color should be 181819. Change the opacity to 100%. Distance should be one. Choke should be 32 and the size should be 16. Now let's apply an inner glow. Change the blend mode to overlay. The opacity should be 100%. Add a 22% noise. And the color should be FCEE29. The size should be 109. And the quality should be the second to last one in the second row. Now let's apply a gradient overlay. This color should be 67BD45. This next color should be F5EB32. and change the method to classic. Now let's apply a outer glow. Change the blend mode to normal. Opacity should be 100%. The noise should be 8% and the color should be black. Change the technique to precise. Spread should be 23%. Size should be 32 and change it to this one in the second row. Now let's apply a drop shadow. Change the blend mode to normal and the color should be 141819. Change the opacity to 100%. Uncheck the use global light and change this number to 58 degrees. 
change the distance to 65, spread should be 0, and size should be 6. Now this is how your letter should look. Now go ahead and duplicate it. And now I'm going to type out the rest of the word fresh. And here I will change the size to 131. Now I'm going to place this first word within a group and rename it fresh and duplicate it. And this one, I will rename this one Prince. And change this font size to 108. And arrange them like so. Now place these two groups of letters within a group and now we will apply an outer glow. Change the blend mode to normal, 100% opacity, and the noise should be 43%. In this color we will change this to F8, B1, B0. Change the spread to 5, the size should be 49, and the contour should be the very first one. Now let's add a drop shadow layer. Change the color here to ED257A. And change the angle to 90 degrees, the distance should be 15. Spread should be 67 and the size should be 250. And then change the contour to the one in the second row. Add 25% of noise. Now we're going to add another drop shadow layer. Change this color to ED187C. Change the distance to 25, spread should be 57, and the size should be 213. And change the contour to this one in the first row. And then change the noise to 0%. And this is how your text should look so far. And now I'm going to type the word the. and then change it to this font, which is also linked in the description box. Change the size to 74. And change the color to 43B9EA. Now we're going to add a text warp, select arc, and change the bend to 18%. And now we're going to apply an outer glow. Make sure opacity is 100% and noise is 43 and change the color to 44B9EA. Change the size to 10. Now we're going to place it within a group and we will apply a bevel and emboss. Change the depth to 553%. Size should be 32. Soften should be 16. 
change this opacity to 71% and change this color to 3C5EAB and change it to 22%. Now apply a contour and change this to 65%. Now add a stroke, change the size to one, position is inside, and then change this color to 5EC1EE. -E. Now apply a second stroke layer. And then change this color to 319DD0. Now apply an inner glow. Change the blend mode to linear dodge add. The opacity should be 50%, noise should be 22, and the color should be 5193CF. Change the size to 32, and the contour should be this one in the first row. Now apply a satin layer. Change the blend mode to hue, and the color will be white. Change the opacity to 100%, and the distance should be 37, and the size should be 100. And make sure invert is unchecked. Now apply a gradient overlay. Change this layer to linear burn. And this first color will be 04509C. And the location should be 69. For the second color, change it to 4AB2E5. And the location should be 75. Now add an outer glow. Change the noise to 23% and the color should be 0084CA. Change the spread to five, size should be 29. And now let's add a drop shadow. Change this color to 243B77. Change the angle to 58 degrees. Distance should be 44. Spread should be 5. And size should be 76. And change the contour to this one in the first row. And the noise should be 11. And now click OK. Now duplicate this group and we will be using the word of for this section. And change this size to 49. And here I am adjusting my gradient overlay so that a little bit more of the light blue appears in the word of. And now I'm going to duplicate it again, and I will be typing Bel Air for this one. And change the size to 104. And as you can see here for this particular font, it doesn't have the hyphen, so I just use Myriad for the hyphen.
And now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to rename this noise and change this color to FBF397. And take a soft pixel brush that is about 1,500. And I'm going to place it a couple times over my image. And then change this layer to dissolve with an opacity of 53%. And then create a mask and just brush away the center a little bit. And then here I am changing my brush size to 268. And create a new layer. Now use your pen tool and make a curved line like so. And then here I am going to change my foreground color to ED257B. And then right click stroke path and make sure brush is selected and click OK. And then change this layer to dissolve. And here I'm just adjusting it a tad. And that is how you fake an airbrushed shirt in Photoshop. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also if you decide that you want to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching.